Hi guys. So welcome to the Pull and Bear Show. Pull and Bear Show. Today is um it's a it's called Pie Day. So we're gonna be making pizza later, like pizza pies. But right now what we got is this really cool thing. Um we picked up a kit. It's a bath bomb kit and they make donuts. So bath bomb donuts. Make six donut bath. Bombs. Good reading. So, um, just so you guys know, anytime we do arts and crafts, it's also kind of like a science project. So, yeah. so we read the instructions. Well, I read the instructions, and we're gonna get started. We're gonna make six donut bath bombs. So, hopefully, it comes out good, and we'll test it out. We'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. And here's how, and we'll help you make them. Yeah, we'll take you step by step. All right, see you guys in a okay, bit. guys, so just one more time. We're gonna work with the Alex Spa bath bomb. So this Thank is- Thank you, Alex. Yeah, thank you, Alex Spa. So we're gonna give this a shot. The first thing you're supposed to do is you're gonna get a fork or your really dry hands. If you wanna mix, you can mix with your dry hands and then a bowl, something that's not gonna stick. And then um, it comes with two sets of these. So what you do is you mix one bag of um, the ingredients. So this is cornstarch. You can always buy cornstarch too, like that, but um, we have cornstarch. You're gonna need extra just in case, okay? Then you have Epsom salt and uh, baking soda. Same thing with baking soda. If you need more baking soda, you can do this. So these three ingredients is what you're gonna mix first, and we're gonna put them in the dry and make sure you have a dry fork. Eventually, ah, eventually we're gonna go and um, make them smell like chocolate. Yeah, the smell that came with this kit is chocolate. So we're gonna have chocolate bath bombs. And they come and with sprinkles. I mean, uh, it's pretty that. exciting stuff. And three colors, but you could mix them. So Morgan, what are those three colors called? Do you remember what that term is? And term means these. No. What, is, what, color, what is that, those three colors? What color are they? Azul. Azul. Rojo. Amarillo. For those who don't speak Spanish, it's blue, red, and yellow. And those colors are the primary colors. Uh -huh. And what comes from the primary colors? These, what can you mix with those colors? Uh, we can mix them together. You can mix them together, and what do they make? Blue, uh, blue and pink makes purple. Pink and yellow makes orange. Yellow and blue makes green. So, so you can mix those. For the record, purple, orange, and green are called the secondary colors. So actually, those primary colors would make almost any color in the spectrum. And then if you want variations of that, you have black or white, and you can get colors like pink and gray. Mm -hmm. So, all right. For the very first step, what do we do? Safety first, guys. Got to make sure you have your glasses on, just in case something gets in your eyes. You don't want anything to ever get in your eyes. Right? And these are from our garage. They're from the garage. So in the bowl, we're going to mix some stuff, and we'll be right back. So you need to mix it, and it'll probably look like that. Yeah, make sure it's completely dry and mixed perfectly. Then, because sometimes when you make stuff, you have to make sure that you have the right measurements. So we're going to put exactly, and I've measured it out, exactly 25 milliliters of water. Mm -hmm. Which... Oh, wait. I forgot to say this in the beginning. Grab a grown up. Grab a grown up. So, um, 25 milliliters of water, it's uh, about one ounce a little bit, but make sure it's 25 milliliters. In the United States, we use a different systems, so you might not be familiar with milliliters. Okay, it's, yeah. the, it's the M and the L. You'll see that on the, on the, on the measuring cup. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna do that. We're gonna do 25 milliliters of this into our thing. You wanna mix it? Here, I'll bring it down so. There we go. There's that. All right, exactly in there. We'll do a grown up fill it up. And then we also have, we got a syringe that has five milliliters. We, we found something that has five milliliters. So that might make it easy. For but Walmart. if not, you can um, definitely find one that is um, um, poured in the measuring cup and then it goes into there, so. You Grab get it. the chocolate smell. So this is the chocolate smell. Oh, it's so good. Can you smell it? <laughs> so we're gonna, here, do us the honors. Squirt it in. 
No, port, push. There it is. All right. And then the next bit that we have is glycerin. So glycerin is actually um, kind of really a good lubricant for skin and it's good for um, uh, a lot of your soaps and stuff have glycerin. All right, so we're gonna do another half ounce in there. It's a lot thicker. So this one can be a little bit on the goopy side. Goop, 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 goop. That's yeah. a specific goopy sound. That's what it does. Okay, so do us the honors. Squirt. All right. So now would you like to mix it? So we're gonna mix it and it's a little bit funny feeling, but you wanna make sure there's no clumps in there. Okay, so we're gonna mix and then we'll be right back. Keep mixing, just keep mixing, just keep mixing. Okay guys, so what happened is our reaction got a little too much moisture. It's also kind of a humid day, so that might have affected it a little bit. So we're gonna take a tiny bit of our cornstarch and we're just gonna add a little bit in there to make sure that it absorbs it. Cornstarch is really good for absorbing. Back in the day, people used to put it on baby butts. to make sure that it didn't, um, they didn't have rashes. Anyway, so we're gonna mix, try and keep mixing mix, that. Mix, and mix. always be careful with your mixtures, make sure it doesn't get clumpy. If it gets a little clumpy, you always have that option, okay? Hi guys. Okay, so we're back. We added some cornstarch. It should look almost like fresh snow, okay? Mm. We've had fresh snow before and so, once that's all done, then we add a bag of succinic acid. So this makes the, um, the reaction and you go gently with the fork so that there's no big clumps in that too. And then we're gonna separate it into separate bowls. We have six bowls for six different colors and we're gonna try to do it this way so we can get some different patterns. But this is the first step, so make sure there's no clumps, all right? Succinic acid, all right? It's a uh, Kind of the binding agent so we're gonna do that we'll be right back okay, so now that we've mixed everything and we know there's no more reactions and we're good to go it's just food coloring at this point we can take these guys off okay so always be safe but we're probably safe now also so now we're going to divide it into different ones and we're going to try six different colors out of one bowl so you can do a couple of things. You can try a math problem and see if you can divide it, if you guys know how to divide. If not, then you could just eyeball it and hope for the best, okay? All right, so we're gonna mix some colors and we'll see how it looks. Let's make some donuts. One, two, donuts. So now, where are we at? We have our food coloring. Be very careful with the food coloring, okay? It's important that you don't, um, get it all over your your clothes, your hands, and then the countertops, okay? So make sure you have something laid down and that you're safe or, you know, have an adult mix of colors. But um, what happens when you mix red with white? What color does that make? It makes pink. It makes pink. Same thing with anything you add white to, it just makes a lighter version of it, which is called a pastel. All right, so we're gonna start. But you have to use them tomorrow. Oh, so yeah, so our, we're gonna try and make these. You have to let them sit for 24 hours once they're done. So that way we can mold them. And if they fall apart, we'll get to that point later. But if they fall apart after, you just repack them. But once your bath bombs are done, you have to let them sit for 24 hours. So that and you that's can use one them. whole day. A whole day. All right, so would you like to do the honors and make some pink? So yes. gently, nicely, a couple drops. How many drops? Just do like two or three. First, squeeze, girl, use some muscles. One, two, that's a little hard. And then three, oh, that's good. It might be a brighter pink and that's okay. We like bright pink, right? Do a different color over here. And I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna mix it as she's working on opening up the next one. I was gonna do purple on that one. Oh, in this one? Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the first color, and the first color is definitely pink. Um, if you mix pink with blue, it'll turn purple. So, so we're still mixing, so it'll look like that, and you wanna definitely get all those reds 
uh, the dark red spots into it mix really well so that you don't end up with clumps or funky colors and they're different mixes you definitely want to get it but look at that look at that pink we've already got some pink going okay so um the next color she's got open is blue be careful with that small human so we're gonna do the same thing remember the darker the blue the more drops you put the darker the blue so if you want a light blue just a couple drops And then remember, try not to touch it because uh, oh, we touched it. If you um, if you touch it, what happens is that um, it gets everywhere. All right, so we've got the blue now. We're gonna wipe that up. Hold on. Always have extra paper towels ready, just in case. Just in case. And then remember, always put stuff in a, a separate spot. So. Let's see, so that pink is pretty good. It's getting really good there. I think that's an awesome color. Look at that. All right, so you can wipe your fork so that you don't have that color mixing into this one. And we're gonna go for that blue. Ooh, is it covered? Yeah. All right, also good point, good point. Let's always put the top on stuff so that we don't end up with uh, any spills. Right, because I'm pretty sure that your mommies and daddies or grandparents or whoever it is that you're at their house, they're gonna be mad if you put food coloring and stuff all over their counters. I know I'd be a little grumpy. So anyway, we've mixed our blue. Check out that blue. It's a good, good light blue. I think Daddy would be the maddest at all. Daddy'd be the maddest. I don't know. I don't know. My counters? Oh, I love my counters. Yeah, they're really sparkly. They are sparkly. We got extra glitter in them because um, I'm a tiny bit extra. And um, Morgan here is also a tiny bit extra. And life is better with glitter anyway. Yeah, I'm actually a lot extra. <laughs> she is a lot extra. I am a tiny bit extra. This one? definitely more extra. So check out that blue, cute. All right, let's get some of that yellow going. Pastel it up. Uh, are we gonna make purple? We're gonna make purple in a second. Or do, would you like to make purple first? Purple. Purple first. All right, so what makes purple? Blue and rojo. Blue and rojo, rojo. So you wanna do it, the honors together? Ready? One, two, three. One, it's a little hard. One, two, one more drop. Three, there we go. All right, look at that. Red, white, and blue makes a beautiful tone of purple, guys. It makes like police cups. It does look like a like a police car. But um, can you put the top on the red for me, please? Yep. That was my bad. So yeah, the colors that she makes always. Um, funny trick about purple with paint everyone always has a hard time with paint and they're like it never looks like a good purple and you know what that is you need to add a little bit of white when you mix just out of the jar red and out of the jar blue Ooh, pretty. it is pretty isn't it and the little key to making a good purple is adding just a tiny bit of white to it um when i used to uh well still paint but when I used to paint I learned that little trick so sometimes some people forget what colors um, they're not always straightforward so especially the blues pull so much darkness into that it kind of looks like brown a little bit if you don't mix it with a little bit of white so look at that purple guys and the next three we're gonna choose the colors so yeah so the next one I suggest that we do a yellow to stick to our primary colors Right, so we're gonna do a yellow and we're gonna wipe that guy down. And, and we should try out the orange and the green. Yeah, so what makes orange and what makes green? Uh, to make green, we're going to uh, it's start orange first. Okay, what makes orange? This Why don't you make a yellow one first okay. so that we stick to the primaries? All right, remember, so a couple drops in there of the yellow. Yeah. Can you help? Sometimes, oh, that is tough. All right, ready? I wasn't joking. You weren't joking. All right, one, two, three. 
We need to work on your arm strength, girl. Girls are strong. Everyone can be strong. That is a tough squeeze though. I'll give you that. But. Looks like orange. It does look like orange to begin with. And nacho cheese. It looks like eggs. <laughs> That's what it looked like to begin with. So we'll do that and it'll be a light pastel yellow at first. But I if we think, want it brighter, we can just add more. I thought it looked like nacho cheese. Nacho cheese is so bomb. You know what's one of my favorite what? colors is yellow. I like lemons and my kitchen is yellow. Like our wedding was yellow and gray. And the first car I ever wanted, I wanted a yellow Volkswagen Beetle and I didn't have it. I had a gray Volkswagen Beetle because I couldn't find the yellow one I liked. But you know what's funny? Later down the line, I met daddy. And do you know what daddy's first color car was? A yellow car? He had a yellow Volkswagen Beetle. His was way cooler though. He had like the 72 Beetle. Bye. I had a 2002 Beetle. I think I liked your black Beetle. The gray Beetle, I was a gray Beetle. Yeah. Name of my to, car, Jordan. It was, it was hard to tell. Yeah. Look at that yellow, that's so cool. It's like a baby chick. Or lemon. <laughs> like a lemon. Lemons are a little bit brighter, but yeah, that's definitely a good color. This is the lemon color. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here. Now we're gonna mix what, what? I said what, what in the butt. Uh, we're gonna do, what orange. colors make orange? What color makes orange? Uh, pink and some pink. Well, that's not pink, middle. Well, it's right. red, but on, we get the it. White will make it pink. The white will make it right, the white will make it pink. And then some yellow. So here, trade me the red and the, the yellow, because that's a little bit of an easier squeeze. So ready? One, two, three. Oop! I did like a squirt. It's a lot. Those are tough. These are tough. All right, here on then. I'll get you good. Uh, oop! That might be a lot. That might be a bright orange. We'll see what happens. You never know. That's the funny part about like art and science is that you never really know what's gonna happen in between, but it's okay. Like if it doesn't make exactly what you want, just go with it. Going with it works. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, you can always start over or you can try and erase it and fix it. But realistically, it's always gonna be a good, here, I'm gonna add a little more yellow because it's not very orangey, it's just kind of red. That was. I do want yeah, we'll do the sprinkles after. Yeah. So the way that the sprinkles work, guys, it's kind of cool. Like you put the top. sprinkles in the mold and then um, you put the stuff on top and then it turns into, like it goes like on the on the top layer, kind of like a sprinkle. That's a pretty, it's almost like red, but it's a little orange. A little orange is not too, too bad. That's kind of cool. Well, you have a red bath bomb. We do a red bath bomb. It's okay. So hopefully these don't stain our bathtub. But it's okay. I will the... be mad at these bath bombs. <laughs> That'd be so you... hot. That'd be awful. All right, what's our last color? Maybe. What's our last color? Verde. Verde. That means green. It means green. So how do we get green? What colors make green? Blue and uh, yellow. Blue and yellow. All right. So let's give this a shot. Ready? All right. Wait. Let's switch. Oop. Switch. <laughs> yeah. Switch One, two, three. There we go. Beautiful. I bet you it's going to be a pretty a good. Dark um, green. A dark green, you think? Well, we'll see. So this guy, ooh, ooh. so it starts off. Green's actually one of those really cool colors that mixes really well because the blue really likes that yellow. It absorbs it. And the yellow doesn't seem like a powerful color, but it really gets in there and changes the dynamic of the blue. Yes. So. Think it's stain our bowls. No, our bowls are um, porcelain and they're kind of like 
glass. I see some green. Yeah, we're getting some pretty good greens in there. So. Can we show them? Yeah, I'll show you guys. Look, that's green. Nice. Okay, so we'll be right back. I found a lemon. That's a lemon color. That's a lemon color. Pretty sure everyone's familiar. So we have our sprinkle. So what we're going to do is you're going to pinch a little bit and put it in the top of our mold. So no, pinch a little bit. Take it like that. There you go. You don't want too many because then they're going to get all over the place. And just sprinkle them in there. Yeah. And so what it looks like, guys, is like that. I don't want to tip it too much. And then just kind of spread them out a little bit. And that'll be the bottom of the donut, and that's gonna be the top of the donut. All right, so we have sprinkles on the donut. Okay, let's make these. Let's make these. All right, so what colors? And by the way, no two bath bombs are gonna be the same. So we're gonna try and mix them all different colors. Some colors go really good with each other. Some, like, you know, might not be exactly what you're thinking about, but let's pack in, what you do is you pack into your mold a tiny bit and you we can use a spoon. Um, we'll use this guy and we'll just pack in a tiny bit. So tell me what colors you want. Purple. We're gonna start with purple at the top. That's, that's the color that's gonna go at the very, very top. All right, we're gonna pour it in. Oops, oh, it's okay. And then we'll kind of pack it in. What other color do you want? Pink. Pink, all right. So what you do is you just kind of smash it down and we, you know, pour it all in there. Make make it a good one. All right, Oops. so pack it in. And Don't be afraid. If you guys run out, they're simple ingredients or you can always go get more, you know? It's really simple. Remember, you always have the bottom of the donut too. And sometimes you can make like a big donut, uh, not a, a big, just one color, or you can do all kinds of different ones. So what Morgan is doing is she's pouring them in and I am just packing it in so that it gets a good, good um, packing in there so that you're not like, uh, it's not loose and it just doesn't like fall apart on you. You really don't want it to be loose because if it's loose in the middle, just like a foundation, right? If it's loose in the middle and you don't pack it in well, then what happens is it crumbles apart. We definitely don't want that. Definitely not. And we have put almost every color in here. Have you used them all yet? I need to get orange and then I'm done. All right, well, you might not be able to see them all. But that's fine. But that's fine. And then we're gonna do like maybe the bottom, just like a solid color or something. And then we can pick. And then maybe we can do like the bottom and the top. And you wanna overfill it so that when it packs together, it's over full. Like you want it way over full. So let's get, um, what other color do we want in here? Just to pack it in extra. For the, no. For this one, just one more color in there. Mm, a few more green. Okay, a few more green. All right, so that's jam packed. Now that it's overflowing, we're good. So then go to the bottom and we're gonna do the bottom. What color do we want the bottom? How about we do like a, just like a solid bottom? Mm. Ooh. Or like half and half. Okay, get it in there. Remember, do half and half, half and half so you can see it. Like not top half, but like side to side half and half. And by the way, the pieces that fall out, we're gonna we're gonna re-pour them back in. Because we don't need to waste it. Oh, you're gonna do purple and green? Oh girl. Remember the top of this one was purple too, so that's gonna look cute. Right inside. Oh, the puppies are back. All right, so we're gonna pack this for a little bit and then we'll be right back. So now that we have the top and the bottom in our mold, we're gonna press it and it's gonna be like overflowing like that. And it's okay, right? I'm gonna dump it out, tap it together and press really, really tight. And then I wanna make sure that it's, you tap on the table a couple times. So you press, 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 and then you tap, 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 tap. You see these little holes? The little holes that are on it, what it's doing is it's letting it release itself from that mold. That air pressure allows that. So we're gonna do this a couple times. It's a good sound, it's a good sound. And then we're gonna take off the bottom and see if it comes off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What, look at that donut. And it comes with these circles. 
So we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna try and take off the other side. We're gonna tap it. Hopefully it sticks. Tap, 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 tap. And we're gonna try and take it off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, you guys. Oh, it crumbled on us, but it's okay. What you do is you just press it back on. Tap, 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 tap. And you try it again and you just keep going until it does it. Oh man, we packed it too good. So we're gonna loosen that one up and we're gonna try it again. All right. The doggies are out of breath. They went running. Oh look, there we go, there we go. So I'm gonna flip it upside down. So we have our donut. And check it out, guys. We have a sprinkly donut bath bomb. That's my yours. So we're going to let it sit for a little bit. What we're going to sit for 24 hours. Okay, so you just let them, <gasps> let them dry out. And then you can take a bath. All right? So we are going to make the rest of them. And then we'll let you know how it goes. Okay? We're good? Thanks for watching, guys.